Hello everyone, my name is Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at precision-elect.com. That's precision-elec.com. We're your industrial automation service center. Drives, motors, PLCs, controls, we've done it all for a very long time. Longer than, longer than some people. <laughs> so if you have any questions, please give us a call. Today's video in the ACS 355 series, we're going to be covering basic startup. Basic startup essentially is being able to run your motor from your keypad. We're not going to be going into actually wiring start-stop control just yet. We're not going to be wiring external speed references like speed pots just yet. This is a very basic commissioning video. And the cool thing about the 355 is it has a startup assistant. So we actually won't even need the manual for this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, we're at our home screen essentially. Now, if you just powered up the drive for the first time, it may pop up and ask you if you want to start the startup assistant automatically. But for me, since I am recommissioning this drive, I need to start it manually. And to do that, I press the menu button and I go down to assistance and I press enter. And then there's a startup assistant right at the top and I'm going to press select. It's going to ask me if I want to use the startup assistant. I'm going to say yes. And this is going to walk us through all of the parameters for our basic start stop. Now for me, obviously I'm going to choose English as my primary language. The motor nominal voltage, this will be on the nameplate of your motor. Mine is 230 volts. The motor nominal current is also on the nameplate of my motor and my motor runs 1.7 amps at 230 volts. My motor nominal frequency is the, uh, also on the nameplate of the motor and mine is 60 hertz. My motor nominal speed is also on the nameplate of the motor. 1700 RPM is what mine's set for. And the nominal power in horsepower for me is, is a half horsepower motor. So I'm going to press enter on that. So the next question you're going to, it's going to ask is if we want to continue with application setup. So now that it knows our motor data, it wants to know more information about how I'm going to actually start my motor, stop my motor. It wants to know where I'm going to get my speed from, and that's the purpose of this guide. Now, we're not going to do everything in this guide because in this particular video, we're just covering how to start it from the keypad. So we're going to skip over a few of these. But so for the first section here, I'm going to click OK to continue, and I'm going to go with the standard macro. Now, macros are really cool. If you haven't had a chance to look in your manual yet, you can actually pull up the macro section. And the macro gives you a number of different, this is application macros in chapter 10. The macros give you a, basically a default configuration. So there's a standard, a three wire setup, an alternate setup, a motor potentiometer setup, a hand and auto setup. So these are like presets. They're pre-built in presets for certain wiring setups and things like that. So for our video, since we're not really wiring anything to our terminal strip yet, we're going to leave it the standard. But this is a fun thing to kind of look at because these are all pre-programmed in there for you. And you simply need to scroll through and select whichever macro you want. So I'm going to start with the standard and click Save. It's going to click to let me know it's configured it. And it says selected macro uses scalar control. That means basic volts per hertz speed control. So if I don't need to tune my motor in this setup. So we'll be doing that in a later video. So I'm just going to say OK. And it wants to know if I want to continue with my external reference setup. In this case, we're not wiring an external speed reference. So I'm just going to skip this particular section. Then it asks me if I want to set up my second external speed reference. Well, since I don't have a first, I also don't have a second. So I'm going to go to skip, click OK. Then it's asking me if I want to continue with my start and stop setup. Now in this particular instance, I'm not going to do this section because by default, the 355 is set up to start and stop from the keypad. You'll see that soon. So I'm going to skip this one as well because I'm not wiring a start stop control yet. So I'm going to click OK. This one is important though. Do you want to continue with protection setup? This is, a, this is absolutely necessary to protect your motor. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And the first parameter on here is max current. So I want to make sure that this matches my motor current on my motor. So I'm going to actually go down to 1.7 amps because my drive is rated for more current than my motor is. And so I'm telling the drive right now, hey, my motor's only rated for this much, so don't exceed that because you'll damage the motor. I'm going to click Save. 
max torque, we'll just leave the default. And then it asks me if I want to configure the run enable command. This is a command that's built into the drive to require like a jumper. I'm going to click no. Do I want to configure the fault functions? No. Do I want to configure the auto reset functions? No. Do I want to continue with output setup? No. Skip. Do you want to copy parameters to panel? Now this is kind of nice. It'll actually back up your program to the keypad. So if your drive ever fails, you can actually pull this keypad off, put it on a new drive and load it into it. So we're going to say yes. And you'll notice as a progress bar, that scrolls across. And that is really all there is to the basic startup and commissioning of the ACS355 through the keypad. So let's go ahead and run it. So now I'm going to actually run it. I'm going to exit the menu I was in until I am keep pressing exit until I actually see the speed and current displayed on the main screen. That's my main home screen. And I'm going to press the start button. And it gives it a little bit of time here, but right now it's started, but it's at zero speed. So notice it's whining, but it's not doing anything. Now I have to press the up arrow key to actually give it some speed. And so as I hold the up arrow key, obviously it'll go display on there my actual speed. In the top right corner here, it's actually displaying my target speed. So that's essentially where it's trying to get to. So if you have a long acceleration time or deceleration time, it may take a while for it to get to that point. And on the upper left hand side, you'll notice there's a local or LOC. And that particular uh, word means that the drive is in local keypad control. And when we go over later on wiring your actual start, stop and speed to the terminal strip, we're going to be switching between local keypad control and remote push button and speed control. So that local remote comes into play a little bit later. But for basic commissioning on a keypad, that's really all there is to it. So thanks for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions, we are Precision Electric at precision-elec.com. Your industrial automation service center, drives, motors, controls, PLCs, HMIs, you name it. We've programmed them, done startups, retrofits, been doing it for about 30 years. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We'll get you taken care of. And visit our site because we sell these. So until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.